Hey, hey, hey. Well, hey. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, hello there. My name is Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those Vegan, vegan guys. guys. I don't know why I always say that with a posh accent. I couldn't be more older than I tried. It changes. It does. Uh, so we're going to wait for a short while, like we normally would. Let people filter in. Let people come on in, you know, do their bits. Got a nice little coffee just to, you know, kick things off, as it were. We have. We have got a lovely little coffee. But just saying before we went live, it feels like it's been a while, even though it hasn't been that long. But it feels like it's been a while since cooking in the kitchen. Do you know what I mean? Um, is it a while? It probably hasn't. Was, it the, um, was it the wartime cake last time? Yes. The wartime chocolate cake. Yeah, it was. So welcome one and all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the live stream. Um, we've got 26 in the house already, but as Paul says, we'll uh, we'll give it a few minutes, let a few more people filter in, because uh, it usually does ramp up fairly quickly. But hope you're all doing great. We've got our mods in the house, Ashley and Leanne. Thank you for being here, of course. Great to see you all. Lots of familiar fa uh, faces, lots of familiar names in the uh, in the chat. Good seconds. Sure, they can't see. Can see Leanne's face and Sasha's face. We can see some faces, but not many. So we haven't been to the uh, allotment today. We went yesterday instead. We did film a little vlog. It's a very short one though, and it's very much a repeat of what we did last week. Well, yeah, we said, didn't we? We said it's going to be rinse and repeat at the moment. We are, uh, we're prepping. We're prepping down at the allotment. And the priority, the number one priority is getting the beds sorted after winter. Uh, but like Paul said, yeah, there'll be a little short allotment vlog update tomorrow on the channel. And then, of course, our usual meals vlog will be up on Tuesday. As always. So, yeah, today I am going to try. I've never, I have never made satay sauce before of any variety and obviously normally it's made with peanuts um and usually it's made using you know butters so really i should have been using an almond butter today but i'm not i'm going to try making it with just fresh almonds i don't know whether i should boil them first you know for a short while or whether i should just blend it all together and then cook it in a pan and see how it turns out i ain't got a clue I ain't got a clue. I'm looking forward to whatever Paul what I have done conjures up. I'll show you this. What this is, you were. This is what I've done. I've done a thing. It's over there. I'll fetch it and show you and tell you. It's a thing I've done. I do this quite a lot. Actually, I do this. This is what I'm about to show you. I'm gonna build up the anticipation. So when I show you, you'll be like, that's rubbish, all that build up. Um <laughs> this. When I do the tie ball, any of you that are regular viewers on the channel and you watch our meals vlogs every Tuesday, 6 p.m., we upload our previous seven nice dinners. Just a little snippet because it helps to give people ideas for meal creation and, you know, and because we enjoy doing it. Uh, and now and again on there, you will see a tie ball done with rice noodles and avocado and shoes and so on. And it's always this tofu. So this in there, what you've got in there is you've got a block of tofu, T-O-F-O-O. -O -O. Oh, somebody at the door. Oh, that'll be our pills. That's great, actually, because we need to take one. Um, so that is just a block of tofu, naked tofu, cut up into chunks and then in there we've got uh, sesame oil salt and ground black pepper and that's it i'm going to whack that in the air fryer shortly that's just been sat kind of you know combobulizing so this will be amazon because we've run out of these these are one of the um vitamins that we take uh every morning this one's from amazon and we take this one 
because it has in it uh, vitamin D3, B2, B12, calcium, phosphorus, iron, zinc, selenium, and iodine. So it's different than our standard multivitamin and mineral. So that's the one that was left in there for you. Thank you. It's uh, it's like a backup, isn't it? I suppose. Well, yes, it's just we like to just make sure that we cover all of our nutrients. Yeah. You know. Yes, indeed you do. Indeed you do. <laughs> Ashley says an Amazon driver ringing the doorbell must be new. <laughs> Yeah, took, took to uh, took to check in the blue bin um, before it gets put out for recycling now, uh, just on the off chance that there's something in there we're not aware of, because it does occasionally happen. That's what they look like, by the way. Little capsule. Tiny little capsule. Sasha says about the uh, almonds, soak them in hot water, but uh, I'm guessing that was probably something that would have needed to have already been happening before we went live. How long for? Uh, and Kat, Could I do that now? And Kat says, your vlogs help me a lot on my vegan journey. Thanks so much. Oh. Well, thank you for uh, for sharing that, Kat. And uh, and that's brilliant. That's brilliant to read. Yes, right. I'm going to scroll down. So in case we get any answers. Yes. Yes, what? I could do it now. Just put some in some hot water, yeah? Oh, I mean, it's, it's not long since boiled, so I suppose that would be good, wouldn't it? So I got, we noticed in Sainsbury's, they had a small bag, 100 grams for £2.50 odd. And then they had this bag, 500 grams for £7. So I got this one because I'll use it. Yeah. Yeah, Leanne and Sasha both say like five minutes. All right, brilliant. Boil them for five minutes has the same effect. Boil them or can I get it? If I just soak these now in this boiling water, will that be enough? Yeah, I think so. Listen to me like I know what I'm talking about. I'll just leave them soaking and see if that works. Because I suppose it's just to soften them, isn't it? Yeah. So what I did was, basically, uh, I actually... Oh, don't start doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just Googled satay sauce recipe this morning the first one that came up was bbc good food this i do this a lot by the way just so you know and then i'll look through a few recipes and i'll make a tweak and i'll be like oh right right so this one the ingredients of it are um lime juice half half a lime juiced um one teaspoon of clear sweetener i won't say what it says so agave nectar or um i'm going to use maple syrup because i think it'll add an interesting dimension to it okay. that's a teaspoon a tablespoon of soy sauce well, excuse me one tablespoon of curry powder three tablespoons of smooth peanut butter in our case we're using almond butter and a 165 milliliter can of coconut milk now i think that's one of the small ones isn't it have you ever seen the small cans because how much is in that one about this morning <laughs> how much is in here yeah 400 milliliters this one right so you have to measure that out approximately Leanne says, I've started using carob syrup, thinner and completely flavourless. Interesting. Carob syrup. So just sweet then. Like a like a, a neutral sweet. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Especially for somebody like me that doesn't, you know, cook. Could we have a? Could we have some more likes? We're doing remarkably well, Perhaps actually. Perhaps from the folks as a watching, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yes, thank you, lovelies. Uh, the the only other addition that I'm going to make to that recipe, other than changing the, for maple syrup, 
and the almond the peanut butter for almonds almonds, almonds. um i'm going to add a couple of finger chilies as well funnily enough adam because just we like a spice adam just asked that very question daft question but are you adding spice to it yeah yeah, yeah. a couple of finger <laughs> chilies a couple of little frozen finger chilies so just a yeah just a little bit of a tweak yeah it's just it's a tweak it's a tweak of an existing recipe so do you like my hair nice one sasha i think jacqueline said she did before i'm so glad to be blonde again i waited too long this time it has um it has a, a a very negative effect on me when i've got dark hair yeah it's sort well, of you should know you've been with 25 years well yeah yeah i mean it's um i suppose it's it's subtle but it's there isn't I it i do not like it i do not like it at all mm -hmm. But I love it blonde. Oh, thanks for popping in Essence of the Celts. Hope you have a good day. So when are, you, when are we starting? When are you starting? Soon. Yes, Adam, Jason has bleached his hair when he had a very short, uh, almost skinhead, and it really suited him. Many, many moons many, ago. Many, many moons ago. It was like 18, 18, 19. Alex says, I'm going to be sort of making your gardener's pie in a bit, only I've got no spuds and I've got a cauliflower I need to use, so it'll be cauliflower cheese mash on top. That sounds quite interesting. Nice. Funnily enough, funnily enough, I haven't made one for absolutely ages and ages and ages. And then the other, the other night, night before last, uh, I made one, so... We had it for dinner then, and we'll be having these leftovers for dinner tonight. That is indeed my gardener's pie. Fabulous it is too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Very tasty. Walter. Walter. Oh, well, Walter. Wearing, not a drop to drink. Dripping all over me. Right. So never soaking, so they'll soften a bit, hopefully. Yeah. I'm gonna get these, I'm gonna get this tofu on. On here and in there and get it on. So tofu's go going in going in the air fryer. Yeah. For 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, but I'll just keep checking it. Uh, Leanne says, oh, we have those containers. They're great. They are, aren't they? They are. And are we, I know we've said it many times on the channel. What containers? The container, I'm assuming she's talking about that as the... Oh, the... You know, gardener's the lid on top. Yeah. Um, the, the glass Tupperware containers with the plastic tops as well um, that we use for putting stuff in the fridge. Absolutely brilliant. They're, they're amazing. Um, I, I never thought I would hear myself singing the praises of Tupperware, but it's got to be said. It's got to be said. Oh, nice one, Stephanie. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, everyone, for the, the thumbs up. We're on 96 thumbs up, and we're, on, we're less than 14 minutes into the live stream. That is epic. That is amazing. The YouTube robots best pay attention and send a few more people our way and recommend a few of our videos. Uh, it does happen occasionally. We notice it. Uh, and it's a great thing because it means that the down to earth vegan message is getting out there to more people. Across, on the reg. On the reg. Yeah. Across the world. Most definitely. So can you hear us okay with the air fryer on in the background? Hope it's not too much of a distraction. Mmm. Yes, Leanne. Glass Tupperware keeps things much longer, less waste. Yeah, the, the clip-top ones that Lisa Muddy Paws got us ages ago. She's our glass goddess. <laughs> um, they're, uh, they've, they've been... I've got rid of so much plastic since getting them. They're amazing. Right. Nice, nice one, Blue Seraphim. <laughs> Nice one, Kat. Master Jedi Mike has just joined us. Says, hello, guys. Hello, Master Jedi Mike. 
Kill now. Right. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Do I do I shall I just put everything in the neutral way? So I'll just put everything in the neutral bit and just do it in there and then cook it. What are you asking me for? I'm not. I'm kind of um, thinking out loud. Yeah. Thinking out loud. Um, maybe I should do that. That might be the way to do it. Let's try it. Nothing ventured. Nothing gained. Tracy, you know what? We're feeling the same. Um, we're rather tired of winter. Um, it has felt, the last few days, it's felt like we've had a bit of a false spring in the air. Um, but I don't think we're quite out of it yet. I'm not actually sure. Is it the 20th of March? Is officially the first day of spring. I think it's sometime towards the end of March is like officially the first day of spring. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. One tablespoon of soy sauce. So I'm going to use the. I'm going to use this one, which is we get from Wingit. It's the mushroom flavored. I mean, it says mushroom flavored. It's just a really good, strong soy sauce. It's not really mushroom flavored because Jason wouldn't be able to tolerate it. So, True. one tablespoon of soy sauce. <laughs> oh, that sauce sauce, gorgeous. One tablespoon of maple syrup. 20th of March is some equinox. Nice one, Sasha. Yes. Blue seraphim. Yeah, nice one. Jacqueline says, I like the look on your face, Jason, when Paul asks you. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. I'm here to assist. I'm here. Should Paul require delegating any task? I'm more than happy to help out. But um, yeah, I'm not a creative soul when it comes to the kitchen. Three tiny frozen chilies. Whenever we buy finger chilies, I immediately freeze them. Probably bought these about six months ago, not even joking. And then they're dead easy to just pick the end off, chuck them in a sauce. Actually, two will be enough. Yeah. Yeah, I want that one back here, yeah. yeah. Right, so we've got our sweetener and our soy sauce in there. Now we need a tablespoon of curry powder. Then back in there. Ah, oh, nice one, Johnny. Johnny says, went to Wing Yip after your video on the place. Quality gaff. Got some of them mushrooms the guy who does Wicked Kitchen made a video on. Turned it into steak. One of the best vegan things I've made. That's excellent. That's good to hear that, Johnny. Tablespoon of curry powder. So I've got um, hot curry powder, but you could use my old. Uh, hold the lid. Right, three tablespoons of smooth butter. So I'm just going to do like. Three ta tablespoons of almonds. This is uh, this is part of the fun, isn't it? It's the you know the experimentation and not being a hundred percent sure what's going to happen. Uh, Tracy says on point, Paul. So that's why I'll, I'll ask it. No, I don't have four. Which is more powerful, your neutral bullet or y'all's blender? Neutral bullet. Sorry, I'm in way here, aren't I? Shift the chair a little bit round side. Uh, and then, right, 165 milliliters of coconut milk. Right, 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've we've tried. We've had mixed results growing chilies. To be honest, if I was going to try growing chilies again, I might just stick to one variety and just try growing Scotch bonnets because they're our favourites. Juice of half a lime. Mm. Lovely. give that a bash and see what happens soon find out won't we we'll soon find out more blast. To. So I'm going to pour it in my scraggy little frying pan <laughs> so that I can. I've had this frying pan for so long. Ooh. Ooh. That is smooth. Leanne, that's amazing, by the way, getting that many uh, that many chilies off one plant. That is fantastic. Where's not one, no. Smells nice. Okay. Bring these back up now. To here. Wow. There we go. I'm just I'm moving them back up so they can see. Rather than just looking at the pan. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah, Adam, good question. Is there anybody else in the chat that's going to vegan camp out 2023? Would be interesting to know. Ooh. Right. Oh, the maple does add an interesting dimension to it, actually. The what, sorry? The maple? The maple, yeah. <laughs> I want to try a little bit. Well, hang on, because it's... You, you try that. I'll just try that. Ooh. Ooh, 
nice. Nice. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Ah, nice one, Rhea. So Rhea's going to vegan camp out with their three little puggies. <laughs> I'll cuddle them if they'll let me. Oh, Muddy, don't worry. You've not missed too much. Um, we're about 25 minutes in. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Angarad says, can I try some, please? <laughs> Bless. Much love to you and the fam, by the way. Hope all is the best that it can be at the moment. Ah, uh, Sasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considered vegan camper, but without owning a car, logistics of camping coming from Germany. Difficult. Yeah, I understand that. Although they are doing, if you're if you're financially able, Sasha, they are doing full setups. You can actually rent a pitch tent with everything in it. Yeah, but you have to move quick on that if uh, if that is something that you would consider possibly. Um, but do appreciate it's a, it's a difficult one. <laughs> Alex says, are you guys planning on joining Just Eat so that I can order some of your food? <laughs> that'd be uh, that'd be kind of cool. Of course, Angarad, of course. What what more can you do than that? Just take him one day at a time. Absolutely. Garden Room 63, thank you so much for the super chat. Garden Room 63 says, enjoy your day. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Thank you. That's really appreciated. Oh, Sasha says um, he checked those, Paul, but uh, not in the budget at the uh. moment. Yeah, right now. Totally understand. Yeah. <laughs> Angel says, not able to go this year as my baby will be born. How inconvenient. Next year, though. Nice one. I know. How rude. Baby's how rude. That's Peter. That is a long way. That is a long way to come. But it is the biggest and most awesome vegan festival in the world. Um, but yeah, that's a trek, mate. That is an absolute trek coming from Canada. Oh, Blue Seraphim, what is your favourite dish, Jason? Um, that's a difficult one. Of late, it, I think it changes. That's what it is. It changes and, uh, and adapts and evolves. But when I, the first two things that spring to mind is um, the noodle soup that Paul's been making of late and um, spagli bobs and meatballs, spaghetti and meatballs. They're definitely two that are up there. But uh, since Paul's been doing the soup noodles... Um, they have become my new five minute rule, five second rule. What have you? <laughs> you just dropped some, yeah. I dropped a piece of tofu. <laughs> mm. Nice. Oh, Adam, bless you. Thank you for the super chat, dude. Buy a bottle to go with the sauce. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So, yeah, there we go. Um, air fried tofu and homemade almond, slightly adapted, because it's got chilli in it, sat air sauce. Cheers for the super chats, guys. Yeah. Right. Careful, because this will be like 
boiling out. Oh I yeah, imagine. I'm just going to wait a second on that. I did the uh, I did the lip test. Ah, it's not too bad. So we're doing it stick wise. You know, they would normally come on a stick. I like the consistency. The consistency is really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Shall we? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. And it's gorgeous. But it's not as good as the allotments. Not quite. I only had one piece of yours at the allotment. Mm -hmm. I feel as though your tofu is a bit firmer and a bit crispier. Mm. I like the crispy edges. Different brand of tofu, though. This this is my favourite one, the actual, you know, T-O-F-O-O. -O -O. Will there be a camp out vlog? One. Be a couple. Mm -hmm. There'll be one from the vegan queen's perspective. And there'll probably be a vegan guy's one as well with uh, drone footage. Mm. Yes, we'll be taking Doris with us for sure. Yeah, <clears throat> it would be rude not to. Do you know what I mean? It would be rude not to. Oh. <laughs> well, yes, Tracy, anybody who can't make it to vegan what? camp out uh, can live vicariously through us uh, and to a certain extent the vegan queens as well. Oh, we're all up to speed. Actually. I didn't, uh, the, the, uh, the blender was mm -hmm. on before, by the way. I actually. Forgot. I forgot to mention, thank you everybody so much for the thumbs up, 108 thumbs up, and that was um, less than half an hour into the live stream. I wonder how long it keeps for. I could just sit and carry on eating this, this is gorgeous. Yeah, so the satay is slightly different, I don't I'm, think it's quite as sweet. I've got another bowl. Is yeah. that, would that be fair to say? I think that the, the satay at the allotment is, was a little bit, was a bit sweeter. Mm. I think maybe if I used a bit of coconut sugar as well that might help but this is lovely this is a gorgeous vegan satay thank you ashley made with whole almonds rather than an almond butter mm -hmm. so mm. it's great i love that just that little hint of chili mm -hmm. that little bit of spice that's just there in the background that's well, proper nice proper nice <laughs> I tell you what, Adam, I'm going to have to be very, very, very careful um, with Doris the drone. Um, but uh, yeah, there'll be some, uh, there'll be some distant shots and some flyovers, I'm sure. But I don't know about Doris the drone capturing you coming out of the, uh, coming out of the toilets. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, this is stunning, babes. This is stunning. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Hon honestly, to us, I can, even I can barely taste the chilli. There's a mild chilli warmth. Yeah, I'd put it at a one. Yeah. It's a one, isn't it? Yeah. But, one more. Absolutely spot on that. It's lovely. I mean, obviously, the way we're eating it is the way that we're eating it right now. You could obviously skewer your tofu, put it on a plate, mm. drizzle it all mm. over, you know. <laughs> mm. Oh, Rebecca, you're here. That's the main thing. You're here. Uh, and the food is absolutely stunning. Not going to lie. Absolutely gorgeous. Now. Um, speaking of. Well, we're not speaking of anything. I do have permission. Because I've asked. To read this to you. I thought this was lovely. Oh. 
I'm going to stop for a minute. Delightful. Right. Let me get my glasses. Got the contacts in, but I can't read shit all without the glasses at all. <laughs> Whilst you're getting your glasses, uh, Blue Seraphim, the lo I love the cat on the allotment. Does he have a name? Uh, it's called Puss, apparently. Puss. Simple name. And he's a delight. Right. So, I got this lovely message from Kirsten. And um, it just said, hey, you two, basically. My dad, Len, asked me to write this. So this is from Len. My daughter has been vegan for nearly five years and visits regularly since I asked if I could read this and I was given permission. Uh, and visits regularly since her mum, my wife, died. Being vegetarian myself, I have always cooked her vegan meals so that we can eat together. Our routine, mostly on a Tuesday, is dinner whilst watching some of our favourite YouTube channels. Recently, Kirsten has introduced me to your channel and I inquired about your history and how you turned vegan. She put on the vlog you recorded, Veggie to Vegan. I've never seen that one, by the way, it's a cracker. And it was Paul's description of the dairy and egg industry that made me decide there and then to turn vegan. If I can do it at 75, then anyone can. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to tell you that it's if you sometimes get nasty comments and ridicule for your beliefs, you should rise above them because we think you are amazing and you have made a difference in educating this old fart. <laughs> <laughs> now I am being excellent to myself and the animals thank you yes and i don't think it will be uh too much of a thing to show you a picture of len sent by his daughter how lovely is that with his little doggy uh and that's pip oh no all oh, with his doggy pip and um his daughter's doggy fingle Fingal. Fingal. No, and that's the one with resting on uh, Len's uh, hand there. So there you go. Well done, Len. Amazing. Lad. Absolutely amazing. Bloody good on you, Blow. Love that. Love it. Love all of it. Yeah. Dorcas is in the house. Dorcas, thank you for joining us. Uh, Rebecca, no idea. We don't generally uh, we don't generally do desserts. And if you saw our Ambleside uh, vlog um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, you, the eagle-eyed will have noticed that in both restaurants we went to, we had a starter and a main, mm -hmm. um, and we didn't end up having a dessert, um, although we did look and check, and we were toying, but we were like, no, mm. it's fine. Yeah, I'm going to have another. I'm going to have another little bit. I wonder how long it keeps in the fridge. Surely a good few days, because it's like, there's nothing necessarily perishable. You would think, it, wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like... Mm. Mm. It's gorgeous. The satay sauce is a win win win. Tracy says that sauce would be amazing on buckwheat or low mine low mine noodles topped with green onion. Mm. Yeah, I'd imagine that would go well. Yeah, noodles with green onion. Mm -hmm. That would be good. What's low mine noodles, Tracy? Low mean M E I N. Low mine mean noodles yeah i'll scroll down a little bit i won't go you're going ever so fast no no it was really slow i'm just literally thought, thought. i know i was trying to read as all ah, right as you went i like to read let's see what folks are saying you know Darkest oh, star. we must talk about the films we've watched recently. We've watched a few, haven't we? Over the last week or so, week or two. I'm going to say this. This is not like me, but this was recommended to us recently. If any of you have access to the internet through your TV, 
like what we do. I'll just say swatchseries.is. I'll just say that for now. Remember it. Swatch series, all one word, dot is. So with that in mind, a couple of nights ago, we watched um, The Fablemans. We did. We did. Oh, God, it's good. It's really, really good. If you get a chance to watch it, it's really good. Yeah. And then we watched, and we were a bit dubious. We were like, is this going to be any good? And then we watched Megan. Bloody good. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Surprisingly so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably said the same about... Um, oh, I watched you do that, but... We said the same about um, Smile. Smile was great. We watched that on... Was that on Amazon? Kevin Bacon's daughter. Amazon on Netflix. We watched Smile recently. It's called Flucy. Uh, and it just... You know... Flucy. A better than most... Not Flucy. Horror. I can't remember what she's called. Susie. Susie. Susie Bacon. Susie Bacon, yeah. Um, yeah. Flucy. And then, of course... Uh, <laughs> Flucy. Flucy Bacon. Uh, and then, of course, um, for anybody in the community mm. who is a Trekkie or identifies or as a Trekkie or is in Star Trek, of course, last night we watched the first episode of season three, the final season of Picard. Which was also amazing in setting the stall out ready for the final Tracy, season. Tracy, you've taught me something there. Low mean or low mine mm -hmm. just means mixed with vegetables or a protein such as tofu. Oh, okay. Nice one, Tracy. We have that quite a lot then. Well, you know. Hmm. I'm just checking we've not missed anything. Oh, um, just uh, to uh, anyone that isn't privy to UK news uh, but has been following the story of Nicola Bully. Uh, they've just found a body in the river this afternoon. Um, found by a dog walker, apparently. So it may be a conclusion to what's been a very long yeah. three weeks. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yes, without a doubt. Oh, yes, Adam has started watching The Rig, two episodes in. I think we watched the trailer for it, didn't we? We were like, mm, it looks interesting, but it didn't really grip us, did it, from the trailer? Um, but, yeah, good stuff. You'll have to let us know uh, what your what your opinion is when you get to the end of it, Adam. But, uh, yeah, we've watched a few good things of late, haven't we? We've not been disappointed no. with, with our, uh, our choices. I can't stop. The last film I will mention um, that we watched recently is because um, they're kind of like, you know, you get to the, you know, late-ish of an evening. That's kind of like our wind down time when we switch off from YouTube, switch off from the day to day <clears throat> grind. Um, the uh, It's just called Fall, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We watched Fall um, the other night um, about two girls that get stuck on uh, this massive um sort of aerial tower a tv tv mast yeah broadcasting tower two thousand um, feet i will say it's a little bit longer than it probably needed to be still good though but it's still a very good film mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's oh. good. Well, it's a builder with the heat i was going to say that it's cumulative isn't it mm -hmm. it, it adds it adds because i'm definitely sitting more at a two now whereas before yeah. i was at a one mm -hmm. yeah Gorgeous though. Mm. Mm. Oh, Rowena, I'm glad you had a go at that chocolate cake. Isn't it good, that wartime chocolate cake? It was, uh, I was introduced to that from Emmy. Emmy made um, just a cracking little cake that you can do all sorts with. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Was uh, Adam, Adam, do you, have you got that website I just mentioned before? Swatch dot c Swatch series dot is. Mm. 
Mm. And we've started watching. We usually watch it while it's out. We've started watching. Um, oh, well done, Paul. Clean jeans. <laughs> <coughs> um, Survivor season forty-three. Oh yes, 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 yes. Do you want big to... Survivor you... fans? Yeah, we're up to episode six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Dawkins says, I used to look forward to those Marvel type movies, but there seem to be so many of them these days. There are. Yes, Dawkins, we feel the same. Um, the market is saturated uh, with Marvel movies, and it's hard to keep up. With we might as well finish this. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, true. Well, it's fresh tofu, you know. Ooh, Peter, that sounds awful. Tofu in the air fry, by the way. Perfect. Yeah. There's a movie called Frozen, not the Disney version, but a guy gets stuck on a chairlift and eventually they have to jump off. It's kind of gruesome. Sounds it. Try not to. Mm. Flanny agreed. Some of those shots in um, Fall gave me really bad vertigo. <laughs> but it, yeah, the cinematography was excellent. Mm. Oh, Tracy and Leroy watched Smile the other evening. Really enjoyed the psychological horror as much as the gore. We binged the rig, and it has a very good, and it has very good while somewhat hidden environmental theme. Ah, interesting. Nice one, Tracy. We might watch the rig at some point. It's it's not. I've heard a lot of bad things about it though. So you know, it's good to hear good things about it. Yeah. Well, Peter, that's probably about about time, really, isn't it? I mean, it's. I mean, I don't blame them. Don't get me wrong. It's very popular. It's obviously proven to be a cash cow, and that's essentially what they're doing with Star Wars now. It's what they're doing with Star Trek. Is they've realised the popularity is there, and they're absolutely churning out as much as they can. Um, and as long as the quality isn't affected, I'm not bothered by that. Um, certainly in the world of Star Trek. They've been churning a lot of stuff out. And I know that some fans are less impressed with the newer stuff. But from everything that me and Paul have seen, it's been absolute quality. Mm. All the stuff that's been coming out over the last couple of years has been absolute quality. Um, but there, we're, we're way behind in the uh, in the Marvel cinematic universe. Way behind. I should have just had a little scrolly up here. Just to make sure we've not missed it. <clears throat> Oh no, I think we're uh, we're actually yeah we're on track. We're okay. We're okay. I don't think we've missed too much in the chat. Oh yes, we'll uh, we'll definitely be watching the new series of The Mandalorian because we watched season one and two and thoroughly enjoyed that. And we've just started watching uh, Picard season three. I've mentioned that before, yeah. Oof, oh it's mm. good. It's proper right, bud. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Blue Seraphim. Isis is doing great. Actually, up until about five minutes before we went live. She'll be down here. She was, you know, ambling around the living room. She was just sat in her box, chilling, had a little stroke. Now she's gone up for an afternoon nap. That's Isis for you. That's what she does. I'll tell you what, I should definitely make this again. Yeah. This is uh, this is a lovely sauce. It's really good. I would I I would actually I think I might have more lime juice, you know. You reckon? Mm, I look quite I kinda like that tart element in um in a satay. In a satay. I think maybe the juice of one lime rather than half a lime. Okay. Maybe. Hmm. We want to use this for something else. Might try the noodles, like Tracy suggested. One night, uh, might just do a, a noodle dish with one of those packs of stretched tofu. 
similar to like and that's the sauce similar to like the mark weems noodle am i getting confused really similar to that the mark weems dish that you no because that's a very different sauce isn't it that's a that's a thai that's a thai sauce right i mean it's similar i suppose in you know in its elements but it, it does taste very different mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> Can't believe we forgot that. Oh, the last of us were yeah, we're on it. We haven't watched this week. What it is it's Monday. Monday. Monday it comes out, isn't it? Next episode yeah. of The Last of Us. Loved it. It's out on Monday. Loved yeah. it so far. It's been brilliant. I think thoroughly enjoying that. And also worth saying, as people who watched the entire series of The Walking Dead, it would be really easy to draw comparisons between The Last of Us and The Walking Dead, but I actually think they've created a completely different show. Sasha, I said that this morning. I've got a huge bag of coconut sugar in the cupboard, and I was just going to make a syrup out of that, but then I decided to go for the maple. For the record, the maple works as the sweetener element, so if you're ever uh, short on coconut sugar but i might try it with coconut sugar next time and more lime juice i'm not complaining though is i've sat and smashed <laughs> this so you know it's just uh yeah gone it's gone beautiful yeah absolutely gorgeous Mm. Did you watch The Matrix? Yeah, all of them. Mm. Love no, them. We've not watched the most recent one, the new one, which isn't new anymore, but... Is it the same? It would only be the Wachowskis. Mmm. Mmm. I've really enjoyed that. Peter, I thought the episode three of The Last of Us uh, with Bill and Frank was beautiful yeah absolutely beautiful it was wasn't it, it was gorgeous what a, what a fantastic piece of filmmaking that was it was, it was a wonderful episode mm. Want me to? yeah but i said to jason afterwards uh it's funny because i know a lot of people have been complaining about it so there's no need for it and blah 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 and then i got why i got why they did because it lulled them into a false sense of, oh, I can, I can get behind this guy. Excuse the pun. Um, he's a hunter, red meat-eating, prepper, red-blooded American. Uh, and then he wasn't. Well, he was. He was just other things as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I know why people got no idea. It's sad. Yeah, but that is that was it basically, wasn't it? Without a doubt, without a doubt. I know what to do with that. Just need to show yeah, the I'll I'll put it in one of them small pots, I think, with the lid on, mm -hmm. and scrape it all out, and then just clean up. It's uh, definitely there'll be a noodle dish with almond satay sauce at some point in next week's meals vlog. That's guaranteed. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm not wasting that. It's beautiful. And look how long it took to make. It was done in the first 10 minutes. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quick, quick and simple. Mm. Fairly quick and simple. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Flanny. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we are. There we are. Joseph just finished the dishes. Your almond satay looks great. It's nice, it's nice. And it's, I love discovering how simple something is. Like, I've never thought about making my own satay sauce before, although I kind of do a version of it for the Thai dish that we both alluded to before. Because that uses um, uh, coconut sugar, soy sauce, peanut butter, chili, lime juice, um, and hot water. So it's a thinner, darker sauce to go over the rice noodles. Uh, beautiful but that one is much more nutty gorgeous and obviously you can make it with just soaked almonds rather than almond butter yeah which is probably a tiny bit healthier yeah yeah definitely 
Adam says, only seen Matrix 1 and 2, they're okay. I would say on that, Adam, I would say that the, the first Matrix film, I would say is definitely better than okay. And I only say that because it actually changed the industry, the first Matrix film. That technology had never been used before in filmmaking. And isn't it fabulous that everybody loves that film, even the people that are really anti-trans, and it's like it was written by two trans people and it's a story of being trans that's what the matrix is watch it again with that in mind and have a little think you want the blue pill or the red pill you want to live your life as you're expected to or do you want to be who you really are yeah yeah Peter says, Pamela Anderson is going to be hosting a vegan TV cooking show. I had heard about this. Yes, it's been all over. Wait, I hope it's a good one because I like Pam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the best to her. You know, she's been uh, quite the animal advocate for many, many years, hasn't she? So, uh, you know, I hope it's successful and I hope it goes well. And more importantly, I hope it's um, it's approachable for, for the majority of people. You know, in terms of uh, what's presented on the show. There's the thing, Sasha, good almond butter is 100% almonds, but you don't have to like over here sneaky buggers putting oil in and sugar. Do you know what I mean? Additives. But if it says 100% almonds on the jar, yeah. Indeed. Indeed, you do. Indeed, you do. Leanne mentioned before that um, they're, they're going to be watching Picard as well, big Star Trek fan. Um, but yeah, it's very difficult because last night I was like, once we got to the end of watching the first episode, knowing that the rest of them are sitting there on Paramount to watch, I was like, let, I was in my head, I was like, I want to watch the second episode. I want to watch the second episode because the first episode was genu was just laying out. Oh, the so, so it's on Amazon. They're releasing them one a week. I think so. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Uh, have you guys tried Manny Life peanut butters? I don't think I've ever seen them. Manny Life, where they're from, Jokers. No, I don't think we have, have we? We usually get Whole Earth. Yeah, peanut butter. That's the go to, isn't it? That's our go to. Usually, yeah. Mm. Amazon. Amazon. I might, um, I might, uh, I might try making some, you know. Yeah. Not butter. Well, you can make them with a nutrible liquor, can't you? So I might try making some. Mm -hmm. I'm try making our own peanut butter and see how we feel about that. Why not? See how we feel about things. Yeah. Could do. I mean, I think, isn't it often, not always, but it's often the case that when it rolls around to the time when we need to replenish our peanut supply, peanut butter supplies, there's nearly always an offer on. Yeah. At one of the supermarkets that we go to for the whole earth for the whole stuff. earth stuff, and yes. it's usually like a decent offer because it's it is a little bit higher up on the cost, but you are getting really really good quality stuff. Um, but we we will try and get it on offer as and when we can. And uh, you know, maybe spend three three pound fifty as opposed to like five pound fifty or five, around a fiver, I think it is. <laughs> ah, Tracy, yeah, not wanting Picard to end is exactly why we haven't watched it yet. Yes, I can understand that. I can understand that. I said we were chatting about it the other night. I'm just so glad that the opportunity came about and that it's actually happened and that particularly with season three it seems that they've listened to the fans paid attention and they're actually going to give the fans what they want for season three without going into any more detail <laughs> well that's something we became aware of um sasha was saying about uh, nut butters being heavy on the blenders that's something that we became aware of when you did first time you did the eight to six eats turkey it killed the food processor destroyed ah it. ah viewers and thumbs up matched from my <laughs> and then two people left thanks guys yeah always always 
Oh, that's interesting, Adam. Adam says Cadbury's hot drinking chocolate powder now has the vegan label on, on it. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably try it in the food process because we've got the new food processor. Um, and uh, it's much better than the one that died. Obviously, it's a 1,100 RPM, I think. Right. Whereas the other one was an 800. All right. Well, I guess you just got to um, you've got to consider that. You know, it's not something I would have thought about, but it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? It's like you know, if you're putting stuff in your blender that's going to require some uh, serious engine power, you got to factor that in, haven't you? You do. You do. Got to take it. Gats to gut. So, yeah, as we said right at the start of the uh, the live stream today, because obviously there's been quite a lot of people that have come in during and throughout. Um, there will be a little short allotment vlog update on the channel tomorrow uh, for those of you that are uh, interested in the build up to the growing season. Um, and we'll be down there, you know, as much as we're able to over the next few weeks, getting prepped and ready. And then, of course, on Tuesday will be our regular meals vlog upload um, where we share. Well, we, we mostly to... I can see that message. Sorry, Jason, it's just sorry. Right. I can see that message. So you obviously there's there's nothing from our side. No. Um, before I, uh, before I, because you're not the first person to mention the the person, mostly. Um, I don't give them airtime. So do excuse me if I don't talk about them. There is no going back if you're suddenly not anymore. You never were. Done. Done. I used to give the bad time, I used to make comedy videos and everything, look at Miss Verich. But I haven't got the time these days. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. Mm. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. It's not even really drama though, is it? I just think it's it's boring and it detracts from saving animals, which is what this all needs to be about always. It makes it about that person and they're just not that important. The animals are. Which is why they're doing it in the first place. Mm -hmm. Disingenuous. Mm -hmm. Completely disingenuous. And uh, all about what can I do to get more clicks yeah. and more views. Yeah. Completely disingenuous. Hey. Anywho. I tell you what, that sort satay is moorish it's yeah like i'm sitting here now we've smashed all through all the tofu and i'm like you want to go at it with a spoon don't what you what else can i do i can i dip something yeah, else in it bread 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 in it satay satay sauce sandwich a spoonful of jam dipped in it <laughs> no no definitely not definitely no. not jam definitely not just scroll back up just very briefly and make sure we haven't missed anything uh, mostly i to end the conversation i'm not talking about it here he's never been on my radar so i'm not interested anyway i'm i'm not interested i'm not interested i don't fanaticize people never have done this person that you're you want you want to talk about has never been on our radar never been a celebrity to me never been a important vegan to me completely off my radar never existed in my life and all the more now doesn't and shan't on this channel ah thanks on a completely unrelated note toffee hammer says we listen to choices as our alarm every morning love it oh that's nice that's lovely that's proper nice and also in the back of my head there's a little bit of me that's sort of sl ever so slightly like oh Oh, I hope you don't. It doesn't start to grey on. Is Jacqueline you. calling you a weird person now? And if so, why? It's probably something to do with dipping bloody satay sauce in <laughs> with a jam spoonful of jam. Or that whatever is not weird, say. Jacqueline. You're so, weird. It is a bit weird. I know that. To be fair, but I'm weird with stuff like that. Anyway, like we've talked about it before. Like I can't think. 
I can't imagine putting anything sweet on a crumpet. But I'm well aware that we live in a very, very diverse world and there are plenty of people out there that put jam on crumpets. And for me, that's like an alien concept. So I guess maybe I am a little bit weird. And of course, as many of you know, I am a mushroom avoider. Uh, although I'm becoming slightly more tolerant of the uh, the humble mushroom in my later years, it is fair to say. Jacqueline, have you ever tried chips and soup yet? Because before you diss it, lady, you better try it. You've got to try it's it. It's like chips and gravy, except it's soup, so it's far more flavourful because you pick whatever soup you fancy. It's lovely. Oh, Flanny, I could, yeah, I could smash that. Must, margarine and mustard, not just <coughs> mustard, because that'd be a bit dry for me. I like a, I like a moist crumpet. Moist, I like things moist. Moist. Leanne says, now I thought that too, Jason, until I tried golden syrup on a crumpet. Life-changing. Life-changing, Leanne says. Golden syrup on a crumpet. Who knew? Who knew? Maybe, maybe I will try it at some point and have my life changed I also. To touch <laughs> me, to feel the love that's in my heart. I haven't done because the Great British Venue apparently are doing all vegan starters. Lovely. Nice. <laughs> oh, you're missing out. You're missing out, Jacqueline. But hey, each to their own. You know. Hey, it's not just Northerners, as we've figured out. I don't True. Say, it's all over the world, even folk in Australia. Who are not necessarily expats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh. the great thing about putting stuff out there on the channel um, and having subscribers and people connect with us from all over the place is that has been a few things over the years that we've just naturally assumed was a, a regional I'm dish. so annoyed. These jeans were clean on. Look. Look, I've got a peanut satay stain that looks like a little bit of mouse poo or something. Which means I can't wear them for work tomorrow now. You might be able to get that out and then just let them dry. Yeah. You probably could, to be fair. No, nah, they'll need washing again. Yeah. Wash them again. Yeah. <laughs> Peanut butter and jam's gorgeous. So by, by Adam's... He's never tried it. It's gorgeous. Well, Adam's written, it sounds horrible, which means he's never tried it. It, uh, it reminds me of Snickers. It's one of the only things that uh, always reminds me of Snickers, peanut butter and jam sandwich. Yeah. You've got to try it, Adam, if you haven't. Definitely. And I'll try golden syrup on a crumpet. And we'll compare and contrast and let Leanne know. <laughs> Oh, Leanne. Leanne says, I had a dream last night that they brought out vegan Jaffa cakes. I was so miffed when I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Shall we, um, shall we slowly start to consider yeah, we'll wrapping bring this, things up? We'll bring this to a close now and then we can tidy up and I'll get that sauce put away. We did it. It was bloody great. We did we, we did what we said we were going to do. You we did a cracking job of it, mister. We came on. We made almond satay sauce. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It'll be going on noodles later in the week. And I hope it's inspired you to have a bash if you've got a blender. Does, it doesn't have to be a Nutribullet. A jug blender would work, as would uh, just a jug with an immersion blender, a stick blender. That should work too. Just, um, just uh, soak your um, almonds, or use almond butter. Yeah, it's been great. It's been really good, and it was nice to um, to just have that to snack on as well during the live. Mm -hmm. So uh, just lovely, really, really, really nice. And like you said, it didn't take that long at all. No, it was like, I mean, how much? How long did the tofu take in the air fryer? Like twelve minutes or something. Was that 15 minutes tops? 
Yes. So we will start to slowly wrap things up. Um, give everybody a chance to, of course, say goodbye. Um, the community has been fabulous as always today. We always enjoy doing these live streams, whether it's a Saturday eating in the kitchen with our Saturday mukbang, chilling in the lounge on a Friday or cooking in the kitchen on a Sunday. We always enjoy live streams. We nearly always have a good number of people, which is lovely, that you come along and then you stick along. And then sometimes we have people who arrive right towards the end, like Tom Hemmings, for example. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Tom. Um, but it's been delightful, as Vic always. Tom Rea. Vic Tom Rea, of course. Yes. <coughs> well, I'm glad you were able to pop in, Tom, uh, and say hi. Absolutely. Um, as we said, plenty more coming up on the channel. Um We've already told you what's coming up Monday and Tuesday, but there's other stuff coming up as well in the not too distant future. There's, there's always stuff. Always, always the stuff. Uh, impending Gary Chili Sauce Taste Test and um, uh, an unboxing of a uh, gadget we've been sent yes. from Vitini, same company as uh, the air fryers from. They saw that unboxing and said, Can we send you our new thing? And would you perhaps consider doing an unboxing? And I was like, Yeah, but I'll be honest. Because you're not giving me any money. Just because you're giving me a free product. We always are, to be fair. Even if a company, which hasn't happened yet, um, and to be honest, I'm not even that bothered, really. But if a company was to get in touch with us and say, hey, here, have this and have some money to create a video and uh, and review our product, we would still have to have that disclaimer there that says, you're going to get an honest opinion. We're not influencers. We're not TikTok people where it's like, we'll literally just put anything out there and be like, yay, this is great. And then take the, take the money. Do you know what I mean? It's not who we are. So yeah, that's what's coming up. I'd take the money. That's, what... <laughs> <laughs> that's what's coming up uh, in the imminent future uh, on the channel in terms of extra little bits on the side of our kind of core uploads. Adam's a weirdo. All the weirdos don't like mayonnaise. How about that, Hewitt? Yeah, I saw something about uh, there was some issue with fresh tomatoes. There's a shortage, apparently, at the moment. I did wonder, because they look funny that we got from Sainsbury's this morning. They don't look quite right. Right, OK. Yeah, got some uh, tomatoes today. Anyway. Anyway. We're done. So, ending. yeah, we've made uh, almond satay. If you like our T-shirts, these are our merch. And buying them puts a few quid in our pockets, which helps us do stuff, as does joining the channel or becoming a patron. But no expectations. Just you being here, watching, liking and commenting is more than we can ask for. And we really appreciate it. So a massive thank you to Leanne and Ashley, our moderators, for being here this afternoon and uh, making sure that the chat runs smoothly. Thank you to every single one of you for coming along and joining us. Uh, we've had a cracking time. Uh, We've made alm almond satay, almond satay, can't even speak. Um, <coughs> and I hope we've inspired you to give uh, stuff like that a try. Yes. Love you, mister. Love you. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Quick shout out to mum and dad, Brom and Auntie Pearl as well. Much love. And we really, really do hope to see you very soon. Indeed. Um, we'll see you all again very soon. Join us tomorrow for our allotment vlog or the day after for our meals vlog. And check out our playlist because we've got lots of recipes. We've got a free ebook. There's all sorts because I'm on this channel. Uh, so give us a subscription, hit that notification bell. We'll see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves.